next time on Badass Custom Designs. Hello, welcome back. I just, uh, I'm ready to get started. I got a lot to do. I got glass, or should I say mirror, mirror work to do. I've got a lock that I'm working on. Gonna have the drawers interior to do. Then I'm gonna have to dry fit everything uh, just to make sure everything works you know dry fitting is uh, before it's actually before you put it together this way you can make sure everything goes together properly and that you know what you're doing because I can tell you that the interior of this thing is insane which I I've already shown how it has the little dovetails and the rabbits and whatnot and all the different intricate workings of putting this thing together. It's like a fucking puzzle. It's insane. So, I'm not only having fun with it, but I'm learning um, just how differently you could put something together. Um, I would have personally done it way more simple. Um, he, he or she, whoever put this anti granite together was, uh, thinking super hard. And I don't think it's necessary to think that hard when you're putting, uh, something, when you're trying to build something, you don't need to overthink to where you're. You're putting all these extra things in that really you don't even need. Now, I do this to customize things with stuff like fabric or, you know, tacks or maybe, I don't know. It could be anything, trying to customize something. But I'm talking about the interior workings of this, uh, this vanity, the drawers, the way they slide in. Uh, the pieces that that make up the slides, <laughs> craziness, just blow your mind, for real. I, I'm gonna show. I might show me dry fitting it on a video. I don't know, but um, obviously I'm in my house. You see that right there? That's a project. You should go watch that. Matter of fact, I might throw it up in a card right here or right here I don't know maybe but anyways there's a lot of stuff to do still and I've already got four videos on this should be my fifth video if I decide to put this clip in this video or the fifth video maybe the sixth video who knows Anyways, I just want to touch base on that and uh, say that this is a very, very long process, mainly because of the paint. The paint was a monster. It was a straight beast to get off. It's taken me probably, I don't know, upwards of 50 to 60 hours just to get paint stripped off. That's using stripper really good sandpaper and a lot of elbow grease so anyways let's get started all right we have to come inside because it did some raining and obviously i'm not gonna work in the rain so i 
just figured maybe we could take a look at uh, what we got so far on uh, these nails and screws that are in here. They're in vinegar. I'm possibly going to be using all of this, redoing, uh, using all of this stuff over again. That's oh, going to stink. I hate vinegar so much. Oh. Alright, let's dump this out. Well, they're a little rusty still, but that's all right. I guess we'll just have to do some old fashioned hand work, right? I mean, how much of this can I do? It shouldn't take too long, right? It's not really necessary to use a, a wheel on it so much because it's just a very light surface the rust that you see on there. We can get that off. I'm sure of it. Let's see. How does that look? Bad. And that's whoa. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. But I'm about to do the rest of these. <sighs> okay. It's one down. Let's do the screws first. Because we gotta bend. Damn, I think I poked in the finger, boy. You gotta watch out. I don't think it's worthy of the wheel. Like I said, it's all just on the surface mostly. Hey. It's good enough, huh? Alright, let me finish these up. I'm gonna record all this. Man, that took forever. But it's all done now. I gotta put some uh, WD 40 in here with these nails and screws. And then, whenever tomorrow comes, I'll straighten them all out. Or the nails, I mean. Okay. Now I just need another a little bit of WD 40. And. I'll spray it in there, just enough to cover. And the oil will stop the rust and just protect it so the metal, so it doesn't rust anymore. At least, not soon. We'll open this back up tomorrow. So, I just uh, rinsed them off with water, and um, here, let's turn the light on. Let's see. Hold on, I have to turn it on this way. Okay. Anyways, these are all the original screws and nails and tacks, and obviously, these are the foot, the feet that they had on the bottom of them. I'm not going to reuse these. They're okay, um, and I could polish them up, but that would be pointless. Um, some of these nails are bent, so I may have to straighten some of those out, but right now, that's just a little bit of water on there. I'm just going to let it sit like that and dry, so probably put, put this half on, not really on, just sitting on top, so the cats don't get in it, and then just move it to the side. Looks like it's at 16 and three quarters. So I need to get half of that. 
is eight and <laughs> Eight and three eighths. I think that's what it is. I don't really read tape measures that well, but we're gonna put it down and see if that's good. Eight and three eighths is right here. This one's a small little mark. Does that look like it's in the middle? What do you guys think? There you go. Just that little dot right there. I think that's pretty damn close. Good enough. Let's get it at my house. So now I have to figure out, since this piece is going to be on the back of this. Hmm. Okay. We know that that's where that's going to line up. So, if we want to line up to center with this, let me get it more on top of it. So I can really see it. Okay, let's go a little bit more that way. There we go. Oh. Okay. So let's line it up with that. Okay, got a straight edge, I can just use this. I think that's our destination. I don't know, I've got to double check and I'll see. Looks pretty close. Can you see it? The cross inside there that I drew should line up even with this, right? Center of this right here. And I'm pretty sure it's on. I think I'm going to double check before I drill, or triple check, I should say. I'm weary of putting it in the wrong place. I'll be back. Okay, I found it. Um, so. Right there. Wait a minute, we're going to turn it this way. There yeah, go, right there. That and then this last one right here. So we got the basic shape chiseled out there. Now we just gotta uh, get the depth, which isn't that bad. So should be easy. And then once I get done with this, I'm gonna restain whatever needs staining, and then I'm going to um, place the lock inside and fix everything like it needs to be. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to. We're gonna have to chisel this out this way. So like that. There we go. Right there. Okay. We we'll draw our line right there. And this is just to continue the line from here over the corner. I'm not using that for I don't know, just saying. Let's see. Okay, so we know that we know that it's a uh, here we go. This is what I was trying to get at. We're gonna use this five thirty seconds, uh, thirty-two seconds, whatever. Mainly because I don't want to put too big of a hole there, because I may have to make the hole bigger. All right, here we go. Just trying to make sure. All right, here we go. I thought 
tape would stop the tear out so much, but it didn't really do its job. But oh well. We'll get it going and drill this side out. Hopefully that'll tear it up. Come on, break off of there. Or push back in and then we'll... Come on now. Be like that. Yeah. Oh well, that piece isn't coming off. I'll just cut it with a razor blade. Same thing there. make sure everything is good there so it's gonna be like that I did have it all the way up here so I don't know does that look like it's in the middle I think it is yeah it's good check it out right there. okay all right Just uh, cutting this out, this right here, so that I can place the lock in there. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. I don't know if I can because I got to use this hammer. Let's see how many I can. There we go. Get that piece and then come back to it. That piece that sticks out for the lock. Okay. That's about where it turns in. Maybe I can do the straight line first. So right there. Okay. And right there. Okay. I'm gonna do the sides are kind of angled going this way. I don't know why. I know that the oops the lock doesn't really look angled but whatever. Where did my Go. All right, I'll be back in one second. That's the current situation. So, as you can see, the lock's in there and it's screwed in to the wood. But I wanted to put this putty down in and around it. So what I did was, is I put one piece here and one piece here, going all the way to the top, which is these two right here, and that piece, and uh, and then I put this piece flat over top of it so now I'm just gonna sand it down try to finish it I don't know if it's gonna work or not but hopefully it doesn't like fall off we'll see we'll try it with some uh some 80 see if that'll take it off I think it will I think it'll be just fine
This is gonna take a while. All right, it's coming along. I got some off so far. Still got a little more to go. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> that's where we're currently at. Look at that. No way that's higher. See that? Let's see this side. Anyways, you can tell. It's flat. Just not even raise the edge anywhere. Now I'm just gonna try my best to trim it out a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't uh it's not hard. That's probably good. Looks like it. There we go. Looks good there. Let's do this side. Oh, gotta get a bit extra so Cause I can't. No, stay down here, damn it. No. Stay right here. It won't stay. <laughs> Jeez, alright, I'm done. Alright, I had to wrap some tape around it to get it to stay down. Ridiculous mess. So, I've got the parts in here. The rest of what's left. This really isn't anything. Just uh, this cover right here, and that'll go on the front for the uh, for the keyhole to cover up the large hole that's in there. Uh, I kind of had to make it that big, just because I wasn't sure if I made it that big was I ever going to be able to stick the key in the hole. So and I was like, well, I don't know. So. I'd, I already stained this and I had to redo it, but right now I'm just doing a test to see. Oh, wrong way. There it is. Let's see how it looks. I slotted out that little hole, obviously, so that uh, I'll be able to do this. So once the. Nope, oh, goes in this one. Alright, so once the. Boom. And that'll just lock it right up. Once that's in its designated hole. Oh. <coughs> I had to turn it. So you put it in like this, straight. Right? And once you get it on the thingy. No? Once you get it on there, then you turn it. Turn it again. Oh, no way. Turn it again. And there's the lock. Nice. It looks like shitty with all this extra loose wobbly. I think I'm going to see if there's a way I can fix that. I don't think there is, but I'm going to look into it. And uh, I think maybe if I put a dowel in there and then redrill the dowel hole. I don't know how well that'll work, but this will be covering it up, so it's not like it'll matter once it's 
Once once that's on there, you won't be able to see the dial. So I don't know. We'll check it out. Let's move on. Up next, the left side of the interior. Just gotta do these and then we'll do the right side and we'll also re-hit this right here. Put all new stain on it. I just re-sanded it so there's no scratches in it. Alright, let's get started. So got it all done. There's only one more piece to do and that's the very top. I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow because I uh, forgot to bring it out. So yeah, I got one more little piece that goes to this one. And it's over there. I found a little spot where it needs to be glued. So, I went ahead and glued it up as far as this is concerned. Everything's restained. That patch, or not, it's not really a patch, but I pieced it. His putty is right there. Came out pretty nice. Alright. Tomorrow's another day.